What's up icons? It's the iconic fashion figure back with a new video. So I'm just going to try to make this a quick video so you can find some inspiration for your new line you're getting ready to design. And then at the end of the video I'll quickly go through you know mood boards and some apps that you guys can use to create that or software you can use on your computer if you prefer a computer. Jumping right into it, of course we all know the first place we can go when we need any type of inspiration is Instagram or social media in general, but I'm going to say Instagram just because on Instagram you have all your influencers on there, you have all your celebrities on there, all designers are on there, and Instagram also has its new tab under the, what is it, like the explore page. You can change that to go to like the shop section. Of course under the shop section, that's what's selling right now so you'll want to keep that in mind when you're designing your line what's under the shop area is what people are buying right now so you'll want to take those trends and see what you can turn it into for them to buy for the next season or the season after that but not only looking at what they're buying right now you'll want to look at what celebrities are wearing and what some of like the high-end designers are currently posting. Now, of course, if you're going for high-end design, this may not work for you, but for those of you that are going more for ready-to-wear, looking at celebrities and high-end designers kind of helps to portray what the ready-to-wear market will be buying in the coming seasons. The other thing you can do if you want to see what will be coming in the coming seasons is use a website like style.com. On style.com, they have all the different fashion shows and all the new designer collections on there so you can go through and literally just flip through pictures of the different fashion shows find the designers that you are inspired by and just keep up with their new collections when they launch them try to look at the key items and the key styles that they're using each season there's usually some type of fabric there's usually a color there's usually some type of trim even look down to the accessories see what accessories will be trending because that'll help you design you want to be able to find an outfit that it can be worn with those shoes or worn with that handbag worn with that jewelry you'll want to look at all of it because it'll help you get ideas for different outfits. Another website you can use is www.com, Women's Wear Daily. On their website you have both the business aspect and the fashion aspect. Of course with the fashion aspect you want to look to see like fashion reports and what's trending and upcoming trends. But on the business side you want to see what companies are doing well, what companies aren't doing well. Because of course those companies that aren't doing well you don't want to do what they're doing you want to stay away from that the companies that are doing well try to analyze and see what it is that they are doing because you want to do well there's also other like news articles about the industry and whatnot there's projections on there now with women's wear daily there is a paid subscription they let you read some articles for free but they don't let you read all of them so if you want to be able to read everything on there you do have to subscribe otherwise if there's a headline on there you're really interested in just google it there's usually someone else posting about it. You may not get the same exact information as you would on Women's Wear Daily, but you'll find someone else talking about the same topic. The other great place that I love to go to, especially when I'm trying to figure out what fabrics are going to be coming up in the future seasons, what colors are people gravitating to and key items, is actually on Pinterest. You can literally Google like fashion trends fall 2020 and it'll show you colors. It'll give you like outfit inspiration it'll show you fabrics that are going to be hot during that time you can even look future I said fall just because it's fall right now but you can look at spring of 2021 right now and you can even find fall 2021 right now as a designer you have to work ahead of the schedule that's why for me I'm like what day is it because I don't even know I'm already working on March of 2021 I don't know what today is you want to work ahead of your schedule so you want to make sure to figure out which season you're designing in Remember I said in a previous video, give yourself at least three months when designing a new line. So right now we're in October. You'll want to be focused on January and later right now. So maybe resort 2021 or spring 2021. Start looking into 2021. And then for the last thing, which is probably the easiest to do, may have been the hardest thing to do most recently with quarantine. But the, the last place you can go for your inspiration is by people watch. Similar to being on social media, 
media and seeing what people are wearing and what people are buying right now people watching it's easy for you to see like those streetwear trends and to see what people are currently wearing you have some people that are ahead of the fashion curve that's like when high waist jeans came about not everyone was wearing them because not everyone could grasp that concept not everyone really truly knew if that style was for them or not but the more they saw them the more people got into them and look at it now it's like a norm people tend to wear high waist jeans before they'll put on low waist so people watching find those people that may be wearing something a little different you might be able to turn it into a trend or just find someone that's dressed casual and what you see is normal you'll be surprised what your mind comes up with just based off a simple outfit that they're wearing just like about this time last year with the whole was it's the gucci belt that everyone was wearing and most people just wore with a white t-shirt and jeans that became a hot trend that was something so simple you could even throw in a little graphic on the white tee an easy way to create a hot selling item based around one little item that everyone's wearing a belt so now i'll just quickly go through some different apps that you can use and software that you can use of course my favorite one is canva because i use canva Canva for everything. So I'll just show you really quickly on how you do that and then a few other apps like the erase app if you need to erase a background. You can use Photoshop if you need to and if you have the software to do it. There's a few different apps that you can create a collage because that's really all that inspiration page is about that I showed you guys in the couple videos ago on creating like that inspiration page to set the mood for your new. So in Canva you can either download the app on your phone or or you can go to canva.com. I like the website more because there's more features and more available to you in a creative aspect, but you can do it on your phone if you like. So for Canva, there are different type of files that you can choose from and they have different templates already set up. You can do that if you want to use one of their pre-created templates. For me, I've gotten tired at this point in the video, so this is gonna be super quick. For those of you that really want in depth, I'll do a separate video and maybe post it over the weekend right now I'm tired so I'm just gonna do a quick intro to this so you guys can see it so I'm just gonna go to create a design I'll put in custom dimensions actually dimensions already in there that is for an eight and a half by 11 so like a regular size piece of paper but in landscape instead of portraits so it'll really be 11 by eight and a half and then what I have to do is upload all the pictures that I just pulled off Pinterest I literally just got them all off Pinterest normally I will go on a ton of different websites I would do social media and everything but I just got a bunch off Pinterest just so I can show you so I'm gonna upload those really quickly and then we'll quickly create a clock okay so now that all the pictures are uploaded I'm just going to click them all and add them in here I did spring of 2021 just just so that it'll be a different season than what I've shown you guys. You guys can see some different pictures and that's the season that's coming up anyway. So like I said, I'm tired now, so I've gotten lazy with this. So what I'm going to do is just literally take these pictures and throw them into a simple collage. Now I do want to show you guys some of the other features. For instance, there's elements so you can find different elements. There's frames. So let's say if you want a frame, you can put a picture inside of a frame. You can double click it to a adjust it like my focus is was on these jeans so I can use that to just do the denim only and crop the rest of that out or you can literally just double click on one of the pictures and you can crop it how you would like there's other frames on here there's different stickers there's grids if instead of just throwing the pictures on the collage you can pick a grid that's in here it lets me scroll and then throw the pictures on a grid there's a bunch of different artwork so you can get creative and make it actually pretty I'm not about to make it pretty I'm just throwing it on here so you guys can see I probably need more pictures because this doesn't seem like it's gonna cover it all so there through some pictures on the board I can add in some artwork like I can search spring and see if there's some spring artwork to make this look more spring like there's flowers and things so I can throw stuff on there oh the one picture I need to do I'm just gonna do it from my phone really quickly is add in the one picture that I did from the erase app it's called Eraser. I'm already in the app. At the top left corner, you have to go to select your picture. When you're in there, you can click erase. Now there's a couple ways you can erase. If you just drag your finger across, you could just start erasing the areas you need. You can adjust the width of the eraser to make it bigger or smaller. You can offset this little finger part when you're trying to get like further away or like this closer spot to make it easier for you to navigate. If let's say I erased, but I didn't want to erase the word, there is a restore. 
So where the red is is what's erased. You can go in and erase what you don't or unerase what you don't want to erase. And then you also have target color, so you can pick a specific color you want to erase. Let's say I want to erase that color, it'll take that out. Threshold is the amount of that color you want to reach because before you see there's like a little blue on the edges, but if you bring up the threshold, it pulls it out. And then target area, if there's a specific area you want to erase, like let's say up there, you can erase that, but you see it left it still inside the letters. For me, what I want to do is erase the white that's in this bag background because essentially I'm going to crop that out when I add it to the collage. So you see I selected white but it picked the mauve so let me see if I bring down the threshold it brought the mauve back. So now I'll just click done. Now with the eraser app if you're looking for a high res picture one that is super crisp and clear I wouldn't use this app I would definitely go Photoshop for instance like my Instagram pictures I change the backgrounds. I use Photoshop I do not use the eraser app because it doesn't look as good but for something like this that's going on a collage and you won't notice the minor faulty areas on it this app will be fine now you can go in to like smooth out the edges and then you can adjust the look of the picture but it still never looks good for me and then see how you guys see here has kind of like pixelated now and the edges aren't crisp this is why i don't use it for like the pictures that i really want to look crisp and clean and high res and it's set at the max and it still looks like that so that just lets you know but you want to make sure it's set to png transparent and not jpeg because it'll add a white background to it so then we're going to go ahead and save that and it'll save to my camera roll so now i'll import that into canva to add it to the collage. So now I have that picture in Canva too. So I am going to crop that part out. I actually don't think I want that on there either. So just the colors. And now I gotta figure out where do I want to put this. Oh, the other thing I show you too, you can reposition these if you want it behind or forward. Cause like I don't need her face in it. And then you can adjust the transparency too if you want something to show more. So like I can bring this transparency down and then the colors will show better on top of that. Time for me to call it quits. I think you guys get the idea. But anyway, so you would just keep adding in for your collage that you will need. On each picture you can do different effects and filters. There's text on here too which I would just put on here. I can even choose some of those options or I can just put spring 2021. You can change the font. Then you got effects here. You can add to it to make it stand out more. Sorry, I'm just shooting through this so I can stop. You can change the color. So this shows you like some of the colors that are being used in the pictures. If there's a specific color in here you want to pick, whatever it is you want to do. But Canva is a really good way to get this done. It's like my mini Photoshop in a sense. And you can get really creative because like I said, it already had like the presets, even the background because like right now I still have that one white spot. I can change the background so at least something's added in there. But that's all I'll do just for this video and then I'll do another video going more in depth and then talking about all the other apps too that I mentioned and I'll also show you guys Photoshop for any of you that are actually interested in Photoshop. But that is all that I have for this video. Next video will be us actually going through designing our line. So I'll be giving you apps and software you can use to create your sketches. This one has been a little tricky for me considering it's hard to find apps to do this but I'm trying to come up with something for you guys so you can actually create your line. You'll definitely have software and a few other options that I've already pulled together for you guys. Thank you for watching.